Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is project number four of my Halloween week and this is my table centerpiece. So those of you that have watched the other tutorials know that I'm just having a quiet night with just me and my husband and I'm just gonna do a few decorations and decorate the table. And this is what I'm gonna have. So if I just bring it up closely, excuse my horrible nail polish. Me and my husband have decided it reminds us of vomit. <laughs> The bottle, it looked completely different and I put it on and then I thought, oh no, it's awful. And it chips really easily too, so this will be coming off after this tutorial. Um, anyway, back to this. You can see there, I have just gone to town and the glue gun is meant to kind of represent um, a spider's web and kind of cobwebs, dust, that kind of thing. So I think that works really, really well. I've got little embellishments in the centre of some of the flowers there, which you can see are glistening. And then if I flip it over, there's the back. And I put these spider's webs on the candles. And I just love it. I think it's really, really good. And you can obviously do anything with this. It is stuck, all stuck down, but I just want to be careful. I don't want any of it kind of breaking. So it's going to go on the table in a minute and stay there. Um, so yeah, so that is what we're going to make. Um, it's it's just a really it's it's easy really it's just a lot of die cutting that's the most time consuming bit and putting it together was super quick and really really fun so let's crack on and make it okay so i've got everything laid out here all prepared so i've spent a while um putting all these bits and pieces together and i've been using the spice marmalade distressed oxide the pumice stone distressed ink and then Always Artichoke by Stamping Up and Emerald MV by Stamping Up. So basically you just want to go ahead and cut up as many, cut out as many um, die cuts of any kind of flowers and leaves and things like that that you've got. And then I went through and obviously distressed them all. So what you, get your glue gun on because you're going to be needing that to so get that all nice and hot. And the stamps that I used, and I've got two here, I'm going to show you what to do. Um, I use the Oso Succulent, which is an old retired set, and I also used Falling Flowers, which was another one there. That, this one's still going, I think, um, but I'll put all the links. Um, let's just check I'm all nice and straight there. There we go. Okay, so um, for the base, I've got this piece here, which is just two pieces of card, which are from the backing of the paper packs, and um, this one measures roughly four and three quarters by seven and a quarter okay so just something that similar size I mean it depends on the size of your candles so there's my two here and they're going to sit in the middle like so okay you can kind of just see there there we go nice and central okay so that's how it's all going to and then I'm going to build it up all around it but I just wanted to show you first how I kind of distress these now I've not necessarily made them to look real, I've made them to look, uh, you know, so they would fit the Halloween theme. Um, almost like they got dust on them and they're just a bit, they're, they're dying, I don't, I don't know, I just played around with it. So this here is what this is here, so it starts off like that, and this leaf here is what will become that there. So you can see the difference. And just by curling them and distressing them just really kind of brings them to life so um okay so to do this what you need to do is first of all just just quickly um oh no was, where's my there we go my bone tool so just cut out what you've got and then just roll the um whatever the kind of you know the petals are or the leaves um and just kind of give them a little bit of life so it just kind of lifts them up like so. Um, I've done something very similar. Um, I'll share the link um, at the end of this one and it was my wine bottle um, uh, neck collar that i done. So I'll show you that because um, that's got all of these succulent plants on it. But I'll do those two in a minute. We don't need to worry about them for now. So that's those three like so. And then all I've done is I use some of the distressed oxide. So I'll just bring that into view there. And you don't really see this one, but what it gave is like a dust effect when it dries. It dries like a, almost like the same kind of colour. Um, so I'm just kind of roughing up the edges there. I'm not being careful at all with this. It's probably not really picking this up 
on the film but it will all kind of obviously come together um, at the end like so and just do that again on the others wear gloves if you want to whitey dusty kind of color okay so that's that and then I then used the Distress Ink, which is the Pumice Stone. Again, just kind of ink that up and just go over it because that one's already dry now. And just kind of dab it onto the corners and then kind of brush it over. Like so. all the way around the edges and once it's dry go over it again so that's them for the minute but while they're kind of um, still kind of set um, drying I'll show you what I do with this little leaf here so just die cut the leaf as normal and then grab if you've got something like this this was from um, paperbox.co.uk and I've used it before in a, um, a tutorial there we go and there comes two in a pack, so you get one that's slightly smaller, um, which is floating around somewhere. But basically, this this larger one has this really big um, ball, and it's perfect for doing this. So basically, you just want to roll all in that card, and you're just breaking up all of the fibres so it becomes quite soft, and it will automatically just curl as well and it just almost brings it to life and all the creases they look quite natural and it's just it's brilliant and I use this for these bits as well so those little black bits that are going to sit inside that orange flower just roll the ball in the middle and you can see straight away it brings it to life and that one there you can just push it in the middle and you can see now the difference of that and then once we put a little bit of uh, Distress ink on it, and then those two have been brought to life. Okay, so that's all going to be stuck on that one in a minute. So I'll get rid of that board. And this here was from, I want to say Crafter's Companion because of the purple, um, but I will look it up. But it's brilliant. It's just the thick piece of foam, but you can use any kind of, you can, the fun foams that you can buy, they're very inexpensive, so don't go out spending loads, you don't need to. Um, okay, so I think I just used. This one, I'm going to reuse that same. Actually, no, I've got a spare one up here. And it did have a pinky colour on it, but that's fine. Just ink that one up and then just go around all the edges like so. And then as you rub it over, all those creases that you created, can you see the the ink kind of bleeds inside and it gives it almost like all the veins and stuff on the leaf so it just gives it a really cool dead look <laughs> no I think the leaves look actually quite good because they work quite well they're nice flower but there you go so that's all of those and I just done that exactly the same with those ones um, with these on the craft card I just put a bit of brown um, ink over the top of those I think I didn't do too much with them I might not even use all of them I just keep them and then I'll put I've got these little drawers that I can store it all in okay so that's that let's go back to this one now so you just need to piece it together so just splodge some glue in the middle and you just want to stagger them up so each one sitting inside the gaps of the previous one so you get that nice layered look I actually think this is a different orange that I've used because looking at those this is not as vibrant so I might have to hide this one at the back slightly different to the others just picked up a different scrap I done this as something else um, I didn't mention but I done this all with scraps so it's another good project for that kind of thing and then just you can see what I'm doing there, just stabbing it down inside my uh, foam mat there. Just kind of let that set. Yeah, it is different. The difference there. <laughs> That's okay. You, you saw what i done anyway. And then I just need to put a little gem, a little uh, 
embellishment here in the middle. So these were from Do Crafts, um, but you can use any colours. You don't you don't even have to do this. I just thought it was quite nice when it catches the light. You can see, you can see there. You can see just when it catches the light, you see the insides. Right. So that's how you do those. Um, so that's everything. So now my glue gun should be nice and hot. I'm going to start assembling it. So this is it's just kind of more of a inspiration. Everybody's is going to look different. I'm not expecting for one minute that everybody's is going to look the same as mine, but I thought it just gives you an idea on how to make a nice table piece. So I'm going to get each candle first and just pop my... I think I've already got one in there. Okay, so just put some hot glue on the bottom. So this one, let's get the other one next to it, just like so. This is just so when I pick it up, I pick the whole thing up. I didn't want to have to pick it up and the candles obviously not, not stick. So the glue gun doesn't sit on the wax straight away because it's melting it, but once it all sets together, it's perfect. Okay. That's my candles in place. I'm happy with that. You can see there they, there they are. Okay. And then you just want to start building it up. So I'm going to have this as my back and put that one around there. And then just roughly, I think it was about three on three of those on each side, like so. So they're my main ones. Everything else I'm going to squash in all the gaps. Okay, so I'm going to get these ones stuck down first and then I'll just show you each stage when I do it. Okay. So that's them already, so you can see how it's coming together. And now I'm going to fill these gaps here with this black. Okay, so that's the black. See it all building up together. And the good thing with this is you can, you can start spreading it out now even more. So I'm going to put the orange now, they sit inside the black ones, just to fill them out even more. Okay. And then I'm going to start now slotting in these leaves. Now you don't actually need to glue them, a lot of them will just stick in. You can see that I'm just kind of slotting them in, the leaves and stuff. But I'm going to stick them down when they're on the very bottom. So I want to go around now and just kind of focus filling and um, sealing all that uh, white that you can still see. Okay, so there are all of the see now it's all coming together and also all of the stringy bits from the glue gun I leave on because it looks like I can't really cobwebs. see them in the video but if I hold it up maybe there there you go can you see and I'm going to add more to it as well so it's it's a great project for people that maybe you know uh, delicate things maybe aren't their kind of forte um this is perfect because it just you can all those things that would usually show up I guess we want them this time because of the the theme um, so yeah, so that's that. So now I'm going to add some of these in and my spider's webs. So I'm just going to carefully lift this up because it's got quite a bit of weight on it now. So I just lift it up from the bottom and you can see that catches in the light. But if you look really closely, you can see all of the glue. I've put all the glue around the spider's webs. Can you see it glittering there? And on that one, and it goes all the way around, and there's the back, and you can see the glue, again it looks like cobwebs. And I absolutely love this, I think it looks really really fun. I will show um, my table when it's all finished and all decorated so you get a better idea. And then where I've just put those orange flowers, I've just noticed I forgot to put these in. So. To be honest, I'm probably going to keep adding bits to it. I'll probably sit it in the living room and then I'll think, oh, actually, I could do with that a bit more there or something. So this was just really to kind of just give you some inspiration of what other things you can do um, if you're limited on, you know, um, what you can buy in the shops and stuff. I think this is 10 times better than what you can buy in the shops. And I can store it nicely in a box and keep it for the next year. So... There you have it. So that was um, another tutorial from me today um, for my Halloween week. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.